Tonight at 4, we are going back in time. On this day, almost 75 years ago, Middle Tennessee experienced the worst ice storm in our history. News 2's meteorologist Marcus Bagwell takes a look back at that crippling winter blast. On January 31st and February 1st of 1951, Nashville went through the most historic ice storm ever recorded. Look at this picture. It was an area known as Paradise Ridge. We now know it as Jolton and White's Creek area, and it's one of the most dangerous areas of travel in Davison County. Let's look closer at the impacts of this storm. A mix of snow and ice totaling around eight inches fell in Nashville, crippling the daily livelihood. While it did not rank in the top 10 snowstorms, the ice devastated the community. Two people died in car crashes and dozens more injured. The snow did not completely melt until February the 12th, almost two weeks later. The result? Nashville was shut down for traveling and for basic necessities. Vehicles abandoned power was lost and the primary sources of heat through gas and oil furnaces was used up so quickly. No business opened for at least three days during this storm. Residents of Nashville were called that night of January 31st as a fireworks show because electric lines were snapping all over the city and the weight of the ice brought down so many trees. After the storm, people finally came out of their house and created one of the most intense traffic jams in Nashville history, putting traffic at a standstill in the main arteries of downtown. Now, a similar event of historic snow and ice also happened about a decade ago in January of 2014 across the deep south. This was in Atlanta in a standstill traffic jam for nearly 24 hours as two to three inches of snow fell. As a meteorologist, winter weather forecasting is one of the hardest weather to predict in this part of the country. We use events like these, the available model data and temperature profiles to assist us in forecasting potential significant winter weather events. I'm meteorologist Marcus Bagwell, News 2.